Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Saturn. In today's video we're going to be going through chinchilla sounds and what they potentially mean. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good, some of them you don't ever really want to be hearing. Um, but I'll go through as many as I can. Our first sound is gentle squeaking. Now this is just chinchillas communicating with each other. They'll do it when they're on their own and they'll do it more when you've got two chinchillas or more. Mine tend to do it when they're in the cage but when they're out of the cage they tend to do it a lot more and it's just literally where are you, what are you doing? And when they're on their own they still do it because like most people they talk to themselves <laughs> when they're on their own. Well I do anyway. Next sound. This is continuous squeaking. And if you have a male, if it's continuously squeaking and swishing its tail from side to side and releasing scent, it's more than likely you have a male that's feeling a bit frisky. They'll do this when they have when there's females present and when there's not females present. I know this because the first ever chinchilla I owned, Basil, bless his little heart. He was a very, I'm going to say that he was in a hyperactive chinchilla, that's probably the nicest way to put it. But he used to make this sound constantly, swish his tail from side to side, release scent, and he used to try and mate with everything and anything going. My soft toys that were in my bedroom, my feet, my slippers, my socks, oh he loved a sock. Um, my arms, he would. He was just super mad. Now this sound can also represent discomfort or distress as well. So females make this sound when they're actually about to give birth and it's just a, I'm feeling a little bit in discomfort. So they can make it when they're in discomfort or distress as well. The next sound is alarm barking. Now this is a sound that gets some new chinchilla owners a bit freaked out thinking, oh my God, my chinchilla's broken. Chinchillas are herd animals and they're always on the lookout for predators. And in the wild, if they see a predator or something they perceive as danger, they will alarm call. Now in captivity, they still do this, but what they perceive as dangers could be absolutely anything so you will hear this noise from time to time and it just means that they're a little bit scared because they think that there's a predator about now what can set an alarm a chinchilla off something as simple as uh, your central heating coming on and it making a slight hissing sound they will interpret that as a snake and be like alarm call uh, something as simple as it's a sunny day, cloud goes over the sun, creating a shadow in the room that you're in. Shadows equals birds of prey, they will alarm call. Sometimes they alarm call at things that you have no idea what they're barking at at all. But you have to remember that chinchillas have extremely sensitive hearing. They have much more sensitive hearing than us and they bark at the most silliest things and all you can do is reassure them. sound I call it spitting I don't know the technical term for it I call it spitting they don't actually spit at you obviously but they make a noise that's a bit more like like a cat spitting I suppose and I'll, st I'll insert a clip here <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
and basically what that is that is next level I really really do not like what you're doing go away and if you can go away go away leave them alone However, if you need to get in the cage to do stuff like clean them, clean them out, you just need to talk to them gently, reassure them it's okay. But if you can leave them alone, just leave them alone because they're just not in the mood for you. Next one is hiccuping. Now hiccuping sounds very, very similar to the alarm call barking. The only difference is, is that it's completely involuntary and it's just they've got the hiccups. That's all it is. And every chinchilla can make can get the hiccups. It is most commonly heard after a male has mated a female, and they think it's because it's just the change in, in ex the excitement of mating makes them hiccup. It's, it's quite odd, but um, that's when you'll generally will hear it lots. But you can hear it at any time. It, it sounds a lot like the alarm call, except that it's it's continuous and can last for several minutes ago. Next one you really don't want to hear and that is fighting. Now if they're making this noise a lot and they're chasing each other around the cage it might be an idea to keep a very very close eye on them and monitor them very closely. Um, if they are fighting the best thing to do is to remove them. Don't get me wrong, every now and again you will get spats occurring but if it's a regular occurrence and they're chasing each other around the cage and making these noises I would say you might want to look at separating them and getting a separate cage for them. Next one, this is one I really don't like hearing and this is screaming or some people call it crying, some people call it screaming and it's basically they are in quite a bit of pain or they are absolutely terrified. This is not, I'm a bit scared, I'm going to set off an alarm call. This is, I am absolutely petrified. Or, I am in a lot of pain. Now, I've seen a video online of, um, it's called Chinchilla Crying. And it's got loads of views on it. And it's basically a person's part of this as their chinchilla crying. And it's quite obvious from the video that the chinchillas have been fighting and the less dominant chinchilla is making this sound as if to say I am actually terrified of this I am I'm gonna think I'm gonna be losing my life soon kind of cry and at that point you should have if, if your chinchillas are fighting you should remove have removed them a long time before they make this sound this sound is not a nice sound to hear So next sound, babies and mothers and mothers making contact. And this is the sound they make when they make contact with each other. Actually this sound goes away as the baby gets older. Next one is babies in comfort. I love this sound. This is when they're, when they're, have, when they're actually feeding off at mum. They make this sound and it's, it's just adorable. Next sound is teeth chattering. Now, chinchillas make this noise when they are annoyed with you. So I think that's most of the noises I think I've covered.